Hi there, my name is Sean and I'm one of the engineering dads. Behind me here is one of the projects that I've previously developed, which is the hydroponics home-built system. You're probably looking at this and saying, Sean, this looks like garbage. And you know what, you're probably right. This thing was designed to be as inexpensive as possible. Most of the materials here are recycled. The metal frame itself is $15 from Bunnings. The light inside is $60, the most expensive bit of the kit. Everything else is recycled, duct tape, cardboard, extra cabling down the bottom. The problem behind hydroponics is they're very expensive online and I believe that you could probably recreate it at a lower cost. The first rule of engineering is if it looks dumb but it works, it's not dumb. The system itself here has two main basic parts. The light source which provides the energy to the plants to grow and the actual kit here. The reason it's called hydroponics is because all the nutrients that the plant requires are in the water. You add a little cocktail blend to it, it's fairly expensive, I've got mine from Bunnings. As the roots go down into the water, the water gets sucked up into the plants and the plants grow. The water level will then start to decrease, but the roots then move down further to touch the water at all times. This is an incredibly low maintenance system compared to some of the other pump systems, for example, that you've probably seen on YouTube. The grow nets themselves that these plants use, incredibly cheap. I got, I think, 10 for five bucks. I don't know, something really cheap. I think post postage was more. Um, which allows all the roots to come out, as you can see there. In the container as well, I've got a um, aquatic pump that a friend gave me for his old hydroponic system. Those cost around $40 from a fish store or a pet store, probably the better term for it. One of the reasons that we're using LEDs here is because I'm really cheap. Um, as a capital cost, LEDs will cost more than fluorescents, but because they use such less power um, to get the same amount of lumens and light out, the long-term operational cost is much cheaper. So it is a good investment for someone to get them. The second reason that's really good, hydroponic systems like this are very well contained and insulated. So any heat that gets inside the system stays in it. Any light source, doesn't matter what it is, will always turn to heat. This sounds a bit weird, but a 30 watt light will make 30 watts of heat eventually bouncing around stuff. Having a system that's completely insulated like this, 20 watts of light will bounce around and create 20 watts of heat. Now there are two excess holders there to get the heat out, but they're very small. You want this as contained as possible. Using fluorescence, which would have had a higher wattage, not only would cost more in terms of electricity cost, but would also put more heat into the system, requiring more regulation and more maintenance. This is the least lowest cost option that you could probably go with. Another thing I've added here is a GoPro. Now this GoPro is set up to take a picture every 60 seconds, which should allow for a bit of a time lapse of the growing period. Using fluorescence in a GoPro, which you can't actually change the aperture setting on, probably wasn't the best decision. You're going to get some blurring of the images. This is because the light flickers. That being said, um, I'm also cheap, so that's walls lying around in my house. To help demonstrate how powerful this system can be with LEDs, I'm going to close all the blinds and switch off the lights and just plug in the fluorescent here. Um, make sure you have your safety equipment on. And ta-da! This is what the system will look like running most of the time. With this system, we were able to grow a head of lettuce in 30 days, which I didn't record. Um, knowing that, I've now switched to basil because mum wants some in the winter time. Just note that this is in the middle of winter in Australia. Things like this aren't supposed to grow outside. Using hydroponics means you can now grow things in non-seasonal uh, times. This whole system is using only about 25 watts. With the uh, pump installed or plugged in, it's using about 30 watts. Now 30 watts is nothing. If you think about it, your phone usually charges at about five watts. So this is like six phones charging at all times. Over a month, this will cost you about $4.50 to run. So a fairly inexpensive system to be able to grow pretty much whatever you want, whenever you want. So I do recommend trying to build one of these, they're actually quite fun. So to better explain how well hydroponics can work, I planted lettuce in two locations. One in the hydroponics kit, um, and the other was just in the garden outside. Now, I've picked this one out. 
And as you can see, it's nothing really to laugh at. It's growing. It's grown a bit um, since I planted it. Um, it is winter and it has been pretty poor with weather in the last month. So it's understandable that it's not growing as well. Now compare that to this. Pretty bloody uh, proud of this one. It's uh, night and day. Now I will admit there's one in here and there's four um, lettuce roots, I suppose, growing. Um, but it's very clear that the growth has happened. 30 days, I was able to get heads of lettuce, or almost heads of lettuce. You will notice there's actually a missing spot. Um, we actually chopped it up and made a salad, so already growing fruit, or veggies, I suppose in this case. Um, that being said, I should have used a bit more pesticide. I didn't use any, um, so there were some bugs in there. We did our best to wash it out, but I'm a little scared that my salad was not as vegetarian as I initially planned. So, ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. Um, this is my basil. Look at this. Uh, pretty impressive, isn't it? it? Smells really good too. Whole hydroponic system smell like basil for. Well, it still does, let's be honest. So, you may have noticed that the container in the time lapse went black around day. or well, halfway through the time lapse, or whatever. Um, I got a spare container and painted it black. Reason is, you can see in the first week or so, the water starts getting green. There's a big algal bloom that popped up there. Um, and one of the reasons I think that is, is because more light got into the container itself, heating up the water. Um, in combination with the phosphates and nitrates in the water, it just prompted an algal bloom. This, switching it out for a black container, like I did with my lettuce, uh, no algae, so that's good. If you're ever going to do your own hydroponics, please try and get an opaque container. Reducing the amount of light entering the water will help you avoid some of the algal bloom. You'll also notice that the basil is like your dad on a dance floor. It has just gone everywhere. The reason is, um, it was using the walls of the hydroponics at the end for support. The leaves are now heavier than the soil and the roots combined, and the roots are pretty impressive. Check this out. Look at that. You see this? Each one is like that. That's incredible. Put you back in there, don't worry, buddy. Okay. I don't know. I'm very impressed with that. So, yeah. Here's some basil that I planted in my backyard the exact same time I started growing the hydroponics. Um, it's grown fairly well for winter, but in comparison to the, hydro the basil that came out of the hydroponics, it's night and day. It is so much bigger just growing in hydroponics. The funny thing is, I'm not even really a big fan of basil. Like, if I had to choose a pasta sauce, it's not pesto. It's probably like carbonara. But, I mean, if anyone's got any good basil recipes, 
please just share in the comments. I have no idea what to do with this match. I'm gonna give it to mum and I'm gonna share it around with the friends. But yeah, 100% recommend throwing Basil in the hydroponic system. It was a lot of fun and really rewarding. This is 27 days of Basil growth. I mean, it's hard to argue. It works.